So as easy as that, it's ready for the oven. 375 for about oh, 30 minutes or so. Then we'll put it on broil and kind of brown the top. While that's baking, I'll show you about a yummy side that goes well with this, just asparagus. Asparagus is so delicious and with the green color to offset the white of the potato, we're gonna do that. But I want to talk a little bit about leeks. Leeks, I think, are underused, and it's a great onion, very sweet. You can actually do a leek soup. You can do leeks to replace green onion or the scallion as it's known, your yellow onions and soups, salads. It's a light, refreshing taste. But one thing you do have to know about it is that you have to clean it really good because you'll have some dirt in it. So all I do is I cut off the very tip end and then the green is useless so you don't want to use that so you'll come up here about to that point and this you can even bake these whole roast them um, like a regular onion it's delicious just the way it is but then I cut that in half and I take this over to my sink and you'd have to take apart each piece it doesn't take any time at all I mean it's not a difficult thing but you can see the dirt that gathers in between each layer and this isn't a strong onion, so there you go. So you just need to wash each layer. It's not strong, it's not gonna make you cry like some other onions. It's very, very sweet and light flavor and imparts just a little bit of a different flavor. Plus it looks so pretty in a salad or in a dish. It looks really nice with this asparagus. So I've also, I rinse my asparagus while the elastic bands are on and that makes it easier when you're cutting off your rough um, coarse ends keeps that all together and easy to toss into the trash and then it helps me as I just put it into my pan to keep that kind of together. So that's been rinsed and washed and I've got my clean leek here that I will just kind of slice. So it's very easy to do. Nice to leave it in the ring shape because it looks like I said so pretty with your dish that you're doing. Even in your leek soup like a French onion soup same kind of idea, but you can have it with vegetable broth instead of a beef or chicken stock and have a really yummy light soup any time of year. Okay, so I'm going to do one leek. You could do half as much, whatever you want. And then I've got my saute pan here. I'll turn my heat on medium high and I'll drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon. Now you can if you want mix that with, combine that with butter. Butter for flavor, um, but you do need some oil to handle the heat. But you want to let this get hot for a minute. You can also add some garlic to this if you want. Um, but really just the asparagus, the leeks, salt and pepper, and we'll squeeze a little bit of lemon on that, and that'll be good. Okay, this oil is hot enough. And I'll just add my leeks right in there. And I want to saute those for 30 seconds to a minute. Just let some of the flavoring come out. And if you were to do these for a soup, by the way, you would start them out the same way in a larger pot and do like four leeks total. And um, let them get a little bit browned, even like caramelized. Very, very good. Okay. So I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And the leeks, again, have a, a sweeter fragrance. You can definitely tell it's an onion, but it's not quite as overpowering as some white or yellow onions can be. And if you wanted to add butter to this dish, like I said, you certainly can. This has just got the olive oil in it. But if you are a butter fanatic and love it, go for it. Add a, a, maybe a tablespoon or so. All right, then I'm going to add the asparagus in there as well. And I like to keep my asparagus spears all together. And I can squeeze a little bit of lemon in there right now, as well as later at the table, my seed. And one thing you don't want to do is overcook your asparagus. So have your heat on medium high and just stir this as you go and you want to have it crispy not soggy so it should probably only take about two or three minutes I'll season a little bit more 
for the asparagus. Three minutes, that'll be done. So simple, it looks beautiful with the potato and fish.